For sample test problem number 8, a tuning fork vibrating at 512 hertz falls from rest and accelerates at 9.8 meters per second squared. How far below the point of release is the tuning fork when waves of frequency 485 hertz reach the release point? Take the speed of sound to be 343 meters per second. So consider a, a cliff and you're at the top of the cliff and you got big ears so you're ready to hear and you drop a tuning fork and the tuning fork releases sound that eventually reaches your ear so the tuning fork has fallen to some point and by doing so it's also reached some kind of velocity from from rest so we have a little bit of kinematics going on here if your observed frequency is 485 hertz, then we know that the Doppler effect is taking place. So the observed frequency is equal to the actual frequency, velocity of sound plus or minus velocity of the observer over velocity of sound minus or plus the velocity of the source. In this case, you're the observer. So your velocity is zero. Velocity of sound is actually 343. And so we know everything in this except the velocity of the source and the plus or minus. Now in this case, the tuning fork is the source and it is going away from the observer over here. So it is backing away and hence we want to use the bottom plus sign for the source. So the form of our equation now looks like the observed frequency 485 hertz is equal to the actual frequency of the source 512 times the velocity of sound 343 plus or minus 0 over the velocity of sound 343 plus the velocity of the source which we don't know but we can solve for that so we have that uh, 343 plus the velocity of the source is equal to 512 divided by 485 times 343. In other words, the velocity of the source is going to equal 343 times 512 divided by 485 minus 1 just using a little bit of math here and that's equal to 19.09 meters per second so when the tuning fork produced the sound that you eventually heard it was traveling at 19.09 meters per second good good thing so where was it at that point and how long had it been falling well, I've been falling under gravity to reach that velocity and we know from kinematics that final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time and in this case it started from rest so the initial velocity is zero so the time it took to get to that point is equal to its final velocity divided by acceleration 19.09 divided by 9.8 and the time for the fall to that point is equal to 1.9485 seconds. I'm keeping a few digits here because we're going to need them. The uh, displacement to that point at that time, it's called delta Y1, is going to equal its initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. Of course again the initial velocity of the tuning fork is zero so it's just going to be one half AT squared. So delta Y1 location of the tuning fork when it released that uh, when it had that velocity is equal to one half times the acceleration 9.8 times this 1.9 Four eight five seconds squared, and that's equal to 
18.6 meters. The thing is though, the question is, where's the tuning fork when you hear the sound? Not when it released the sound. So the time it takes to travel up to your ear, it has fallen a little bit further. So we need to figure out what that time is. Now we know that that distance that travels is this delta Y1, which is 18.6 meters, and it's going to do it at the speed of sound. So we have that this delta Y1 is going to equal the velocity of sound times the time for the sound to reach our ears. So the time for that sound is going to equal delta Y1 divided by the velocity of sound. That is going to be 18.6 meters divided by 343 meters per second and that is equal to 0 0.05.2542 seconds. So the tuning fork is going to fall for that additional amount of time. So the total time we're talking about, let's call it total, is the time for the fall to the original point of release of the sound plus the time for the sound to reach our ears. And that's going to be 1.9485 plus 0 0.0542. And that is equal to 2.00 seconds. I knew it was going to come out to be a nice number. So, where is the tuning fork after it's fallen for 2.00 seconds? So our true distance that it has fallen is equal to one half the acceleration times this true total time squared. And that is going to be one half times 9.8 times 2.00 seconds squared which is going to be 19.6 meters. So that is where the tuning fork is at the moment that we hear the sound. In other words it released the sound at 18.6 meters and the time it took the sound to travel up to our ear it fell another additional meter, 19.6 meters below the point of release. Answer. This kind of question would be a great question for an extra credit problem because it's calling on some of the additional information from Physics 1 and even though it's not part of this section so that is definitely an extra credit type uh, of problem.